Welcome to another video! And you guys will already know in the title what video this is. But I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> just jump right into this lovely video. Yeah, so I'm just going to be like a little random today in starting a video. So let's get to it. <laughs> We got the crazy thumbnail. Hi. <laughs> Time to pump down crash. Oh. <laughs> Everything just crashed all over the floor. Um, so yeah, and at the very top were um cards, so so give me a second and we'll look at those quickly first. Okay, these were at the very top of all those books. And there is 18 books. We'll get to those in just a second. These are all the cards I also got today with the books. Um, there's some really cute ones. I won't show all these, but I'm going to show maybe like eight of them. We have this cute one. And uh, just a regular envelope. That one's so cute. this over here and then we have this one this one's really pretty and same with the envelope it's really pretty there we go it's all on the back that's how the front inside looks um this one's really pretty too i'll hold it up and let Focus. Like, you guys read it for a second. And then this is the inside. And that's the envelope. So very pretty. This one's a cute one as well. Needs a get well card. And this is the back of them. So cute. I love this one. This one's just really pretty. I mean really pretty. I love um oh I got upside down. Oopsie <laughs> I just realized it was upside good down. You guys probably were laughing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one's like really pretty. And then the envelope. This one's like packaged nicely. And one, two. I think I showed like five. I was counting. This one is just adorable. The envelope's just plain. But I'm going to go ahead and read the back of this one because it's got something very touching on the back. After 9-11, there was a police boat that brought victims, families from the, the Family Assistance Center at the pier, piers, took them to Ground Zero. Woody rode on that bo boat twice a week. He knew his job was to be brave and to be strong for their grieving families. Some family members told Woody about their loved one. Some held him and wept. He welcomed the hugs and outreached arms. And he responded to the need to be confronted. He knew they needed him. Woody was a registered pet partner's therapy animal from 1999 to 2005. That's awesome. Proud, proud honor to this dog. Thank you for your service. And then we'll show couple more. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to show. See if I can find some other. Uh, here's some I can show. 
Got some pre envelopes here. Here's a key bag, another baby doggy. We'll show one more picture. Just to say hello. Hello. That one's just adorable. So there's all some of the cards I got. And there's plenty more here in doubles and triples too. Some of them. So there's all the cards. Now let's get into these lovely books. We have like a classics. Loyola Classics. This is In This House of Raid by Rumor Golden. Or God. I think it's Gaiden. And I really um, love this book already. Um, the reason I say that is because I kind of skimmed the back of this and I read the author's um, summary and all that. She's the author actually isn't um, alive, which is sad, um, but it sounds like she was a very, like, um, interesting person. She was born in England in 1907, um, and she lived in India. Which I was very intrigued by that and also read part of the back of this and it's like talks about Breed Abbey so that made me think of North Anger Abbey so I think I'm gonna actually really enjoy this book I want to read Nor um, North Anger Abbey if I'm saying that right if I'm not let me down um, know in the comments down below but that's what um, made me want to read this even more, as much as the other um, Abby I know about. So, definitely looking forward to this. Next, we have Sister Pelega in the Black Monk by Boris Akun. Akun. And I do not know anything about this at all. I just was actually intrigued by the cover. Ain't that, that's just an awesome cover. Even though it's not too, like, um, too much. It's just right. Cause, and I like castles. So, that's pretty. So, yeah, cover by. Just like the first one. Most of these are cover buys or stuff or authors I already have. So the next one is My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. I don't know if I said that right because it's been a while since I seen this book and heard this author's last name. So, um, but I've been wanting to read this one for a long time. This one I hear is really, really good. And this is book one of the Napoleon novels. There's another one and I... Ugh, the sticker's coming off a little bit. So, yeah. Really anxious to get into this one. I found out about this one through Vina. Vina Chapters, I believe the chan her channel is. Um... Kristen, I believe is her name, and uh, and she loved, um, was so excited to read this book, and now I'm excited to read this book as well. So I'm probably gonna be reading this really soon, hopefully. <laughs> and then next, I came across that I was intrigued by the cover, *The Doll's House* by M. J. Arledge. And it looks like this is a new series of detectives because it says on top by um, Lisa Gardner. So, and that's all I know just from reading that now because I just noticed the cover. Like I said, most of these are cover buys. So, 
and the back is like that. So definitely looks interesting. It's a Detective Helen Grace thriller. It's a thriller too. It's a thriller, um, a mystery thriller. So now I'm even more intrigued. Didn't even know that. Then we have Gone by James Patterson. And I love James Patterson, even though I only read one of his books. I really want to get into all his books. Um, and I collect his books. Yes, um, there's a lot of people that collect, um, collect or don't collect. The reason I collect certain ones is because this one, this author, my mom's read. So certain authors, there's a few that I actually are collecting all the books because I actually want to read them because my mom read them. Um, because... Most of the time, my mom read good books, so, but there were mysteries. That's how I got into mysteries, because I watch a lot of CSI when I'm at my mom's house. Still do when I go to her house. We watch CSI, because that's what she's watching. The next one's another James Patterson, Maximum Ride Forever. There we go, we got that glare right there. So there's Jean Paris books. Next we have another sister book. <laughs> another book named Sister. This one's by Ros Rosmud Lump Lumpton. I don't know if this is another one or if this is just another cover of the one I have. It could very well be possible. I'm not sure. So we might have to check into that because it might be. Next we have Portrait and Sepa Sepina by Isabel Ellen Ellie. And I and um I just realized I actually have another book by this author and did not realize it. Because the um the author sounds familiar and I think I have Daughters of Fortune. And I love this cover, like I said. Most of these I cover by. And this looks like 1900s. So. Then we have Close Range with Wyoming Stories by Anne Perlox. And I think these are short stories. I'm not sure, it's just this makes me think they're short stories, and I really enjoy this cover. The cover's just a really gorgeous winter cover. That's what intrigued me by this book. Um, see if it is, I believe it is. Yeah, this is like all short stories. Um... Yeah, this has like a lot of stories in it. I'm not sure. Give me a second. It's got one, two, three, eleven stories in it. In it. So I'm even more intrigued that this is actually short stories one because I don't actually think I own one. So this might be my first short stories, but no, I take that back. I do own one. I own Stephen King's. So I have two short story collections so far, for sure. <laughs> Next, we have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I've been wanting to read this one for a while. So yeah, um, this has, um, I know this is like sci-fi, I think a little bit. Something like that, if I remember correctly. So, anxious to read this sometime soon. I hope. Uh, we had, give me a second, I stretch a little bit. We have Janet F. and F. A bit, bitch. One for the money. Yeah. Finally got book one. And we have another James Patterson. Now you see her. And it's with Michael Ledwich. And this cover does look familiar. I might have, this might be my second copy, maybe. I don't remember, but 
if I had it or not. So I just grabbed it anyway. Then we have a series book that says part of the Royal Wedding series um, by Rachel Hawk. And it's Princess Ever After. And this cover is really pretty. Really pretty. And yes, there's a sticker on it. Gotta take the stickers off. And before I forget, this looks like, um, might be one of the books, but I'm not sure. But it is one of the books, probably. I'm not sure if you guys can really see that. It's not focusing, but that's the best I can do. So, and then we have... Are You Afraid of the Dark by Cindy Sheldon. I have some of her books. Um, I shouldn't grab any uh, more, but that's okay. Because I actually like her books. I read one. So that's why I've been getting her books. I have read one. And I actually did enjoy it. So that was Angel Rage, I believe. Really want to read that. Oh, I'm trying to stretch. Give me a second. I got a few that are farther away. <laughs> they all fell. There we go. Another James Patterson, Four Blind Mice. Then I got two by Karen Harper, Broken Bonds and Drowning Tides. And cover buys, of course. They're just really pretty. And then the last, whoa, book's crashing. And then the last book, I actually got this book for my man Gary. This is by Tim LaHaye and Greg Danello, Babylon Rising, part of the Left Behind series. So that is it for all these lovely 18 books I got actually today and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video which will be a review video um that'll be next so by the time you see this um you'll have hopefully have seen my bookish Sunday that's getting up really late <laughs> um and then this video, and then I'll be doing my reviews. Um, I got so many reviews to do, so I'm going to combine them um, in a couple of videos. Like, I'm going to do probably like three to four books in one video. Because um, there's so many to do. Um, and they will be just a little bit for each book. Um, because I don't want to do a long one because of spoilers, because a lot of the books I read I really enjoy, um, so, and I don't want to give spoiler, spoilers away, so that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, like, three to four books in one video, um, so yeah, expect that, and I'll see you guys then, and, um, till then, we'll talk in the comments down below, and thanks for watching. And bye.